I am in a rage right now, dude. I am I am legit raging. I have I'm so PO'd about this tenant right now, dude. Like I deal with a lot of stuff, a lot of crappy stuff when it comes to tenants. But what this particular tenant has done, dude, it has put me in a freaking rage. And I am pissed. And we're going to call his ass out on it because I am sick of this crap. I'm sure you're sick of this crap. It is disgusting. It is just... It, it, this person should stick his head in a pile of shame for what he is doing, dude. He should be embarrassed about this, but he's not. He doesn't see the problem, and I think that is a big problem we have in this country, and I think there's a lot of landlords out there that are going to understand exactly where I'm coming from when I say this. So let's take a look at just all oh, this mf -er. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to help investors like you understand the ins and outs of the business. And yeah, guess what? I'm a slumlord, y'all. I'm a motherfucking slumlord. At least that's what pieces of shit like this motherfucker Troy like to say about me. They like to say it about you. And I ain't about that, man. I ain't about that, okay? I ain't about being labeled a slumlord when we are vilified for mistakes that just pure pieces of scum like this ballless wonder, Troy, are doing in their lives. And it becomes my problem. It becomes your problem, okay? And it should go without saying in this business there's a lot of messed up stuff uh, that we deal with. You know, and I take it in stride, okay? I run a $75 million portfolio, and I've seen – any and everything in this business, dude, I've been kicked in the balls more times than I can count when it comes to real estate investing. But none of that stuff bothers me as much as this guy right here and what he represents. None of it. And I'm talking some nasty stuff, dude. If uh, a picture's worth a thousand words, how many words is this footage worth? Very nice. Busted window, paint everywhere. Oh, this is lovely. These carpets were brand new. You guys, the owners, because yeah, people have been staying in the basement. Yeah, the guy came out the other day, stole this van. My dad lives right there, and I left the key, and I went for one minute, jumped in, took off. The cops found it in five minutes. Yeah, you gotta do something, man. Yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're here, here trying to clear it out. He just stacks his pants in the corner of his apartment. Just filled with poop. Like, he's just telling us, like, it's, you know, like, it's normal. So we're like, all right, man, uh, that needs to stop. Don't use our washing machine to wash your pants out, because that's gross. You know, take them to the laundromat down the street. So a couple, couple days go by, I get a phone call, and someone uh, is like, someone pooped in the, uh, the <laughs> by the front door, and it goes down the stairs. According to the landlord, she believes you have cost her in the ballpark of $15,000. I don't think I cost her $15,000. I think she should have given us a chance. I mean, we've been there for three years, and we were always we were always early. And like I said, I know the house the house got bad in the last year, and and we never intended for that to happen. But we were working on fixing it. Pretty messed up, right? So it should go without saying uh, that I've been through the ringer. And I know there's people out there watching that like, hell yeah, we've experienced the exact same kind of stuff. And we are so sick and tired of being labeled the bad guy. You got all these wokies out here running around with their tight jeans, just spouting off, drinking their freaking large extra vente cafe latte mocha motherfuckers, whatever the hell they're doing, talking about how capitalism is evil and hardworking Americans like us are pieces of shit, right? Y'all know it. That's why we created the Tennis from Hell show, right? To give people 
a real look. Well, two reasons. One, to help new investors understand just how brutal the business can be because this business ain't for everybody. You got to have a thick skin, number one. Number two, to expose what it's really like because oftentimes the person being vilified is not the villain. They are, in fact, the victim, which leads me to this guy, Troy, which has got me so heated today, man. And all that stuff I just showed you, right? Countless problems, countless crimes committed against me, my business, my company, my clients, et cetera, things like that, right? Take, take it in stride, man. It's okay. It's part of the game. I know what I signed up for, so I ain't mad about that stuff. But this dude, oh, this dude pisses me off. And that's actually why we ended up creating the slum line, uh, the slum lord clothing line, right? No matter what they do wrong in their lives, it's your fault. You're a slum lord. So I said, hey, man, let's just get in on the joke, man. You, all right, bro, whatever. We're a slum lord. You want to paint it on my chest like it's a scarlet letter? That's fine. Whatever, dude. We'll wear it. We're sick of your bullshit, right? So this guy, Troy, he ain't even my tenant, y'all. He ain't even my tenant. He don't live in one of my properties, okay? But he represents many tenants that I've had, many tenants that you've had, many viewpoints out there in America today, and it's a bunch of bullshit, okay? His name is Troy. I uh, took this right off the Facebook post. This is the Facebook post that pissed me off, and I made it, I uh, did a little reversey reversey there with the color so y'all could see it on the TV better, right? So I made it negative, and I... Blacked out his last name, and it's a slumlord group, right? I'm part of a lot of groups in Facebook, right? I'm all over Facebook real estate groups checking out, uh, you know, what's going on, right? I'm trying to stay in the know, right? So my name's James Wise. If you want to follow me on Facebook, feel free to do so, right? So he's in this one slumlord group uh, that I'm a part of in particular, and it's just a bunch of pieces of shit, wokies, a bunch of lazy-ass motherfuckers just blaming all their problems on hardworking Americans like myself and like you, right? So I took issue with this here post, right? But of course, I blacked his stuff out, right? Because we don't need to find this guy, find his identity, and harass him specifically, right? Because he is an irrelevant fuckface, okay? He is an irrelevant fuckface that represents a whole bunch of fuckfaces, right? So what I'm really upset with is this whole swath of fuckfaces out there, right? This whole swath of just fuckfaces uh, that just feel like this is acceptable, right? So what Troy has said, right? He's over here blaming his landlord. In 48 hours, my family and I will be homeless. We have tried very hard at getting a place for six weeks, but no landlord's call back, and the places we have applied for have denied us for what reasons I don't know. My wife is employed full-time. I'm a full-time student with a 3.556 GPA that works during the summer semester until I start back up in the fall. My son is a full-time high school student with a part-time job. We have lived in the same area since we moved to Ohio. We have lived where we are about to li uh, leave for six years. We are being gentrified out, plain and simple. We can't afford 1200 to 1800 just to have a roof over our heads. What is a family to do? Gentrification does not work. Gentrification does not work. My landlord is a slumlord because I can't pay the rent. What is a family to do? How about get a fucking job, Troy? Why don't you get a fucking job, you fucking pussy? What is a family to do? Folks, this guy, Troy, I blacked his thing out, but I'll, I'll let you in on a little bit of what he looks like. He's like a late 30s, early 40s white man. The dude has no excuses. No excuses whatsoever. You are a white male in the United States of America. There is no excuses for you not to have a fucking job. You are an able-bodied white American male living in a time when there is an unheard of shortage of labor. They're giving jobs out to fucking anybody right now. And this fucking lazy, ballless, spineless piece of shit, Troy, is a fucking middle-aged man with a summer job who's out here broadcasting to the world that he expects his wife and son to work to pay the rent for his fucking family. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking pussy! You are a grown man! And you have a fucking summer job? You want your goddamn high school?
school age son to pay the rent? What in the hell is wrong with you? Why are you on the internet talking about how your landlord is a piece of crap because you're a fucking middle-aged man who doesn't have gainful employment? There is no excuses for this deadbeat asshole. Folks, there's hardworking people, smart people, stupid people, and lazy people. I like hardworking people. I like smart people. And you know what? I don't even mind stupid people. I could totally deal with stupid people. Stupid people are fine. You know why? If they're hardworking, but they ain't that bright, I could work with that. I'm cool with that. I respect that. They're working with what they got. But what I can't stand is a fucking deadbeat like Troy who blames his shortcomings, his problems on other people. Hardworking people like me, hardworking people like you. Troy thinks that because he is a grown man, unwilling to get a full-time job to take care of his wife and his son, that his landlord should subsidize his lifestyle should pay for part of his living expenses so he could continue to live his life without having to get a full-time job, even though he is a fucking middle-aged man who is setting his goddamn high school-aged kid out there flipping burgers or God knows what because Troy is too freaking lazy to get a job because he goes to college. Seriously? Wow, bro, call me old school, but I feel like at a bare minimum, as a man, your responsibility is to provide a roof over your family's head, right? Like, at a bare minimum, men, what are we doing? Have we become so pussified in society today where Caring, putting a roof over your wife and kid's head is not, like, the minimum thing you should do, right? Like, you hear people complaining about stuff online, and you see people like, don't talk shit about me. I take care of my kids. Good, motherfucker. You should take care of your kids. That's, like, a minimum. That's, like, me going out like, hey, man, everybody love me because I didn't kill a motherfucker today. At, dude, at a minimum, I'm supposed to not kill motherfuckers. That's like literally like the minimum thing. You're you don't get a cookie for not killing a motherfucker. You don't get a cookie for taking care of your wife and kids. That's just like what you do, and then you do other stuff beyond that, right? That's like the bare minimum. But this guy, Troy, doesn't think he should have to do that, thinks his wife should work, his son should work, and thinks if that's not good enough, if they can't care for this grown man, the landlord's got to do it. And you know what? Because the landlord didn't do it. Mr. Middle Age refuses to get a job. He ain't the bad guy. No, no, no. It's the hardworking slumlord. It's the slumlord's fault, right? He's a slumlord, right? And uh, so, right, as the story goes, clearly, uh, Troy's current landlord is no longer willing to pay a portion of Troy's rent, right? So if rent's now 1800 bucks. And Troy's like, I want to pay a thousand. You that means the landlord's got to give him eight hundred dollars a month. And the landlord's like, hey, you know, you're a grown fucking man. I'm not gonna give you eight hundred dollars a month, Troy. Why don't you get a fucking job, right? And Troy's like, no, no, you're mean, you're evil. Capitalism is horrible. I don't want to get a job. I go to college, right? So that's what Troy's saying. So Troy goes out and he tries to get other landlords to give him a, uh, a house, right, for cheaper. But guess what? All the other landlords, they denied him. They're like, yeah, Troy, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. First of all, let me put down this mouth. Mouse, slow clap. Slow clap for all the other landlords out there who saw Troy and were like, yeah, fuck you, Troy, you piece of shit. Right? And Troy can't figure it out. Troy can't figure out why no other landlord's going to take a chance on him. If everything I just said about Troy wasn't obvious, I, 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 I'm pretty heated reading this, so I had to, I had to look on uh, Troy's uh, Facebook page, right? I had, I had to see, I had to see, like, into the psyche 
of such a piece of crap like Troy. I was like, what? Like, what's Troy got going on, man? Like, what's Troy got going on? Maybe, maybe I'm just jumping to conclusions. Maybe Troy isn't an able-bodied adult man. Maybe there's some extenuating circumstance uh, where I shouldn't uh, vilify or be upset with Troy for being too big of a pussy uh, to take care of his family. Maybe he's got something going on. So I scroll over to Troy's Facebook, and uh, no, Troy's just a fucking true, true piece of shit, right? The first thing I see is Troy talking about magic fucking mushrooms. Like, Christ, Troy, we all like to have a good time. But, bro, what kind of energy are you putting out to the world? You don't think your landlords, you think these landlords got these properties? Just fucking hand it to them? No, Troy. They went out, they worked hard, they saved their money, and now they could put two and two together. And all they see when they see you is a piece of shit who won't get a job, a piece of shit who won't pay for the roof over his wife and kid's head, who'd prefer to sit at home, masturbate, and do magic mushrooms. Fuck you, Troy. Round of applause to everybody who's denied housing to Troy. And what we need to do as landlords, as a society, is we need to spread this message, man. Because I don't know about you, but I am getting sick and tired of working hard doing the right thing, providing for mine, as I'm supposed to do. I'm not asking for anybody to be like, hey, dude, dude James Lies, great guy. Pays for his own house. Oh, that guy's so good. Doesn't rely on strangers to feed his kids. I'm not fucking Troy. I don't want a cookie for that. That's just what you're supposed to do, right? I don't want any applause for that. But what I do want is I want the world to stop labeling us as slumlords and letting assholes like Troy skate by. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.